Okay. Um, now, after you have set up your public and private key uh, login system, I don't want to call it login system, after you have um, uh, followed the instructions in my previous two videos, they should be in chronological order, they should be right next to this one. What you can do is disable the ability to use a password to log into your server. Um, and okay, so um, what we're going to do is first, okay, we're going to, why would you want to do this? Uh, well, again, it's just a little more security. And it's very easy to do. First, okay, let's log you. Let's log into our server. Okay, we'll log into our server, and let's see here. Oh, just a moment. Okay. So what you want to do is they're very easy. All right. The first thing you want to do is we're going to make a very simple change um, in this file. Okay, what is this Nano? Nano is a extremely lightweight text editor and you've got about a 90, 95% chance that it is installed on your system. Now this right here is a, this is a file that is gonna control the configuration of Secure Shell, or SSH. So, um, we will open it up and we want to come down, we want to scroll down to the part regarding um, passwords. Oh, here it is. Okay, it says password, password authentication. Now, just a few moments ago, I already changed this, so more than likely it will say yes here. Okay, right here it should say yes. It may or may not say, but it should, I'm sure. All right, so you want to change this to no, all right? And then what you want to do, then what you want to do is you, you hit, to save this, first you hit control, hold the control key down, and then the X key, all right? And um, you will see this will come up. Do you want to destroy changes? Blah, blah, blah. And so you want to put a yes. Okay, file name to rewritten. And then you just hit, excuse me, on the last, you just put Y. You only need to type in a Y when it asks you that. Then you hit enter. When you get here, you hit enter. Okay. Um, now you, we've done that. The next thing, so we've changed that. The next thing we need to do is uh, reload our SSH diamond. Um, a diamond is a program that runs in the background. And so you want to use this con this command. This says system control reload SSHD. Now I've already done it, so I don't need to do it. Um, but uh, so that's the next step and that's it. And you can log out. So it was just those two commands. All right, or those two operations. The first one was changing a configuration file. And then the next one, after you've done it, after you've saved those changes, then you need to reload it. And then you can go ahead and exit out, etc. cetera. Um, okay. And again, why are we doing this? We're doing this because now we don't, don't only have the convenience function I spoke of in the earlier videos, but we also have um, the security aspect of it. So now people can't use log uh, passwords to log in. They've got to have those keys installed, which they won't. 